Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, April 6th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. The models are showing heavy snow through mid-April. Maine is the big surprise, with the entire state being buried completely by the third week of April. But the big story, flash flooding, mudslides, and feet of snow for California on the fifth day of April. Severe weather possible for the Midwest. Let's see what they're talking about. Up to five inches of rain fell over the weekend in Southern California in Santa Barbara County, causing some localized flooding. In the city of Santa Barbara, a daily record yesterday of 1.12 inches, where it was cinches to beat the record. In the Sierra Nevadas, there are snowfall totals exceeding two feet, with more on the way, and more rain as no, snow is expected. <laughs> Keep calm. It's boom time. Where are we? Potent storm bringing heavy mountain snow and flood risk to California. And she is looking snazzy. A winter storm-like system will continue. A winter storm-like system. Uh, any winter storm is a storm that produces snow, and they're just trying to get you off a of winter as we head towards summer. What a bummer. The storm is forecast to stall in the vicinity of Southern California coast into Thursday, according to AccuWeather senior meteorologist Alex Snowski. <laughs> Who knew? Beneficial rain and snow, isolated thunderstorms, urban flooding, mudslides, flash flooding, heavy mountain Sierra cement. It's boom time. In this position, the storm will pump moisture in from the Pacific Ocean to the broadening area of the southwestern U.S., which needs this moisture. We need it. And luckily, the Sierras, after this last dump, are well above the 50% mark for precipitation. Storm that dumped heavy snow in the Sierras is now bound for Las Vegas where the blue hoo flu is taking hold. Winter is not done with Michigan. Heads up, top knot. Snow is possible late in the week. We'll cover the entire state. Much colder air is going to invade Michigan late in the week. The cold may even come with some snowy spurts. Say that five times fast. Atmosphere may gear up for severe weather outbreak over Easter weekend. And this will be you in the southeast. Here's the storm scenario this weekend. From New Orleans up to Raleigh, severe thunderstorms possible, tornadoes, hail, etc. Be on the lookout. We'll report on it. National Weather Service, snowfall analysis from the last 24 hours. Hours of powers in the Sierras. Look at the dumper. Wow. Let's check out some of these totals. Boom! 24 to 30 inches in many regions. And another one to two feet expected to fall in that area. Heavy snow in the mountains. Low elevation rain continues in California. Fire weather conditions in the high plains. The video I published today with Alan and I outside, you saw the wind whipping. Can you imagine? We're over here in this county, not in one of the pinks. So a slow moving storm impacting California will continue with heavy mountain snow, low elevation, heavy rain and gusty winds today before moving south and remaining across Southern California through Thursday. Mountain snow will impact travel. Heavy rainfall may cause flooding, debris flows in Southern California and the Four Corners region. Arizona heads up. There is an elevated to critical fire weather, weather risk in portions of the high plains. So click on your county for warnings and watches in your region. And let's just check out the GFS. So here's your Wednesday through your Thursday. And let's just, so here's your Thursday. And sometime Thursday night, Friday morning, the snow's going to move into Colorado and then dump over the weekend down into the Rockies. Take a look at that. Amazing. And then another system moving through Canada is going to dump an additional amount of snow through the upper Midwest into Pennsylvania, Indiana, Ohio, potentially, as we get to the end of April. It's looking like an amazing model. Not a model. Map of flooding and high flow conditions in the U.S. The black triangles are rivers above flood stage, all on the Mississippi corridor here. So heads up. 
all the black triangles are already rivers above flood stage. The dark blue are at flood stage. And the light blue, who knew? So, big heads up there. Seismic update. Wow, we have a boomer in Plantan, Plintalan, Mexico. 4.8, just kicking off moments ago at 35 kilometers. No other quakes of note. We have some residual activity up in Idaho and on the West Coast. It's been rocking. Take a looky here. 5.0 in Tonga, which means very little. But the most recent quake is now kicking off in Mexico, 35 kilometers, 4.8. Worldwide Volcano News Update. No volcanic activity of note. Popo puffing to 20,000. We have standard activity. Kluchiskov is getting a little more active, uh, exploding to 18,000 and then subsequently 20,000 feet in recent hours. So keep a close eye there. Now let's talk about comets. It's the big talk. About to do a video on Comet Atlas, what you need to know, what you need to be aware of, what they're not telling you, and what's happened in the last 36 hours with the comet. Now, let's bring you up to speed. A comet may have destroyed this Paleolithic village 12,800 years ago, or it could have been the sun. Or it could have been the sun causing lots of debris to fall down on Earth, or it could have been any of those things. Now, fragments of a comet likely hit Earth. 12,800 years ago during the Younger Dryas event. And this village in Syria may have some clues. So we're going to be doing an update on this article and what the geology is telling us. So stay tuned for that. But get ready for a bright comet atlas. C 2019 Y4 is coming to a sky near you. It's currently in the sky and visible to the naked eye in dark areas, but may brighten. And may actually brighten brighter than the, well, we might be able to see it during the day. Not only that, the coma of this comet is so big that we may act, it may actually increase and we actually may pass through it. So that's the nature of the video. Now, Comet C 2019 Y4 Atlas is currently the brightest comet of 2020, can be found in the constellation of the Camelopterids with binoculars or a telescope is expected that the comet will continue to brighten, but there's breaking news. And so watch the video after this that I publish on what's happening with this comet. Now, this comet was discovered back in December 26 of 2019. And based on the initial observation and brightness and the orbit, it was calculated that this might be a piece of the Great Comet of 1844. Now, the Great Comet of 1843-44 was formally designated as C1834-D1. It's a long-period comet which became very bright in March of 1843, known as the Great March Comet. Some even called it Napoleon's Comet. Oh, no, that was the 1811 comet. But it rapidly brightened to become a Great Comet. It was a member of the Crutes. Sun grazers, a family of comets resulting in the breakup of X1106. Now, X1106, known as the Great Comet of 1106, appeared 2nd February 1106. Now, all these comets are associated with strange things happening on Earth, uh, as we're well aware of. But this led my investigation to the Great Comet of 1811. Now, this is the comet that sparked off the New Madrid Fault. And it is my belief that Comet C 2019 Y4 may also trigger the New Madrid. So stay tuned for that video. And if you haven't seen Hemp Lucid University, please, guys, go check them out. Get yourself up to speed on plant medicine and how you can grow your own medicine. Because as times change, Things will become less and less available, including pharmaceuticals. So check out Hemp University, Hemp Lucid University, and learn how to grow your own medicine. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. Comets are coming into perihelion in less than two months. And the blue kachina is back. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, all of our new Patreons. Please share this video. Subscribe if you haven't. 
and we love you. Be safe.